guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here so today i am going to share with you some really fun gift basket ideas um i love giving gift baskets every year for christmas or for the holidays and i love creating them putting them together and giving them as gifts so i'm going to share with you some of the ones that i created for this year i have some for adults and i have some for kids so i'm really excited to share that with you and maybe give you some ideas if y'all want to do gift baskets this year. For me, I think it's a lot easier to give a gift to give a gift basket because you can fill it with a bunch of things. And one of those things they're bound to love, so you really can't go wrong um, with a gift basket. So I'm gonna share that with you today. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video if y'all are getting ready for the holidays, and let's get started. Okay, so the first one we are going to create is going to be an adult gift basket. So I have this cute little basket that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, I think it was like $9.99. You can always catch sales on gift baskets all throughout the year. So I will purchase these in May and I will put them away because I know for Christmas I'm going to want to put together some gift baskets. So I'll catch them on sale from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or if I have a coupon from Home Goods or something like that um, so that I always have fun, unique gift baskets. I always I feel like when you give a gift basket, the basket itself is part of the gift because this can be used for an organizer. You can put it in your bathroom. It can hold towels. It can go by your nightstand and hold slippers or whatever. You know it is it is also a part of the gift so i have this really cute gift basket i also am going to add a bottle of wine so this i did not have to buy obviously if you've seen my videos before you know we have a wine wall so i just took this from the wine wall my wine collection and i am giving it as a gift um i love giving wine as a gift because i love wine so um I, I know the person also who i'm giving it to loves wine too that's who i give it to if you're not sure if the person you want to give a gift to is a wine drinker or if they don't drink alcohol you could always go with a sparkling cider or some holiday coffee grounds or something like that um you can always manipulate your basket to however you need it to be for the person you're giving it to this person i know they love wine so they are getting some wine um, I also have a candle that I'm putting in here. If you follow me on Instagram, I will put my little Instagram name somewhere on the screen. But I shared that the Goose Creek Candles had a really great sell for, mm, for Black Friday. So I picked up some Goose Creek Candles and they are really nice. They are really big and I got them on sale. So I knew I was going to do gift baskets. I knew these would be great in gift baskets. So I went ahead and grabbed some. Anytime Bath & Body Works has their candle sales, if you see me buying a bunch of candles, I am not a candle hoarder i am buying them for gift baskets or for gifts or for around my home but if you see you know someone buying a ton of candles they're probably going to be giving those away as gifts they're great gifts and you can hold on to them for a long time until you need them so that is also why i buy a ton of candles to give away um the things that i did purchase recently is these are from tj max i just got some little belgium chocolates i thought these were really cute they also sell these at Trader Joe's, so if you're a Trader Joe's shopper, um, you could get them there. You can get them at Kroger. These, I, they would just buy where I was at the time, so it's like, oh, those would look really cute in a gift basket, and they have a cute little gold bow. And then the last thing that's going to go in our basket is going to be this really beautiful throw blanket. I got this at TJ Maxx for $14.99. You cannot go wrong with a throw blanket, candles, um, robes, cozy socks or slippers whenever you are making a gift basket. Those things are just, I love giving them no matter how many blankets I have, I love a new blanket. So that's what we did. That's what we're doing for this one. So we're just gonna take it, so you have your basket and you can set up your baskets however you want. I like mine to be able to see everything that's in the basket at first glance. So fitting them in can be kind of tricky. You just have to maneuver. I'm just gonna roll this blanket, but I do wanna keep, um, kind of keep it in its packaging. You don't wanna completely take it out. I guess you could if you wanted to, it doesn't matter, but you know, if for some reason they wanted to change the color of it, if it didn't match the, the inside of their home, if everything is still on it, they can go exchange the color if they needed to. So that's just, to me, being a considerate gift giver, I guess you could say. So, um, I have the blankets. I'm just going to stick it in the baskets and then we'll kind of fold it out. I like these little, I don't know what they're called, but they look cute. So I'm going to make those as part of the decor of the basket. And then the wine 
kind of have it secure with the blanket the cute candle and if you can kind of see i kind of went with the um same colors like the blanket is this beautiful um i guess it's kind of like an off-white with this candle with the white wine so it kind of all flows together but you can manipulate it however you want to where everything can be seen so this basket is done how simple is that and how beautiful is that and most of the things we already have so if you are a gift if you are a planner like me I, I like to be prepared I like to plan I like to have things I don't ever like to be caught off guard so I do this all year round I will think if I'm out and there's a clearance sale or something or if there's some a really good deal I will pick up those items and I will put them away because I know they will be go great in my Christmas gift baskets so this is the first one this is for our wine loving candle loving chocolate loving adult <laughs> which is me <laughs> okay so moving on to our next gift basket so this is going to be for it's i like i don't know it, there's not really a theme but it's to me it feels cozy it's like a cozy um little gift basket for someone so this basket i don't even know where i got it from i think i got it from target there is no price tag on it so that's probably how long i've been holding on to it for so I just found this in my closet. Uh, like I said, the baskets can be part of the gift. This is a wonderful bathroom organizer or if you have children and you need books or crayons or whatever, so fun. So we have this basket. I'm also going to throw in this beautiful robe. This was from TJ Maxx, super soft. Um, I'm putting this into the basket and you kind of, if you need to like squish things in to manipulate it to get in there, that's fine, do what you have to do. But the robe's gonna go in first because it's biggest. I also have this um, book. This is just a devotional, but you can use any kind of book that you want depending on who you're giving your gift to, what kind of reader they are. Um, this as the Joyce Meyer Quiet Times with God devotional. So I know the person who's getting this gift is going to love this book. So I will stick this book in here as well. And then, from my soap stash, I went ahead and grabbed this Bath & Body Works Seaside Surf um, Soap. As you can see, I kind of went with the same color as the basket just to kind of keep it um, similar and symmetrical, appealing to the eye, I guess you could say. So we'll put this cute soap in there. And then I have this. You cannot go wrong with a really nice tumbler. So I found this on Amazon. It is this cute blue and it comes with a metal straw and straw cleaner and you can put your cup stick the little straw in the back so it's not really seen and then stuff your soap in there and now you have the cutest coziest little gift basket and you can always put filler at the bottom so i do have some tissue paper that if i need to before i give this to um whoever i'm giving it to step away tissue paper put a cute bow or ribbon around it, like make it your own, get creative with it. But this, um, I feel like is a great gift, very simple, very easy. And when they get it, they're gonna be like, wow, I really, you know, hopefully they will really love it. So this is another one. Okay, so the next gift basket that we're going to do is going to be a kid version. So when it comes to the kids, I, just, I start with a the theme. So this one is going to be game nights. Another thing that I love to do is movie nights or um, arts and crafts, something like that. I pick a theme um, for whoever I'm buying it for and kind of with their personality. So this one I'm going to do a game night, family game night, which I think is a really cute idea. So this stuff I have already purchased a while back. Target had a big sale on their games. I believe it was right before Halloween. I'll have to, I'm not 100% sure. but. They always have sales on their games, and or you can find board games not really inexpensive, even on Amazon. So, um, something I will do also is right after the holiday season, I will start gathering items for the next holiday season um, to make gift baskets, because a lot of the stuff will start to go on sale. So, starting off with this, we have Guess Who, super cute, fun game. You just stick it in this, oh, this basket came from TJ Maxx as well. This was $7.99. They had a bunch of different colors and they're so cute. This can be used in the kids' room. This could be used for Christmas decoration. Honestly, it's so cute. Um, so I've just got, guess who? Candyland. 
And then I found these really fun puzzles. I got my daughter one of these too in her stocking, but this one is like a candy puzzle. It's got all the different chocolates on it. These were on sale at Kroger a while back, so I picked up one of these. So we're gonna put a puzzle in here. These are also on sale at Kroger's like two months ago. And they're not really games, it's um, activity game pad. So I guess technically it, it is game, but it has like Operation and Mr. Potato Head. So I think those are super cute. And it comes with a little marker. So I'm going to put these in here as well. And something you could not go wrong whenever you are making a kid's gift, and it's very inexpensive, are the movie theater style boxes of candy. So I am also going to put these in this little gift basket. I'll show you um, how I do the tissue paper because I know I definitely want some tissue paper in this one to make it a little more festive. Okay, so this tissue paper is from TJ Maxx. I just bought a big bundle of it. But something you can do, Kind of take these out because you really want things to be seen. The point of a gift basket is just to have all the items kind of being shown. So I will just set some of this at the bottom of the basket just to kind of give some height. Guess who it is a bigger game, so it kind of shows candy lane. You can kind of tilt to the side. These are taller, so one here. Maybe tilt this one to the side. You can kind of see the puzzle stick in the middle. And these candies, you don't really want them to fall too far in. So I'm going to stick another tissue paper right here. And then have this one kind of laid out over here. Okay, see so that looks cute. So now everything can be seen. And then you can even take some tissue paper and just to add like decor, extra decor. I always just kind of like twist it and stuff. And then we'll do one on the other side as well. Twist and stuff. So this one is done, super easy, very inexpensive to create. And it's really fun and appealing to the eye. So I know whoever's going to get this item their, or gift basket, they're gonna be so excited. I know I would, um, whenever I make the gift baskets, I try to ask myself, okay, is this something that you would love to receive? Would you just be overwhelmed with joy? And yes, 100% if I was a kid and if someone came up to me Merry Christmas with this, I would love it. So, I think this is gonna be a good one. Let's move on. Okay, so the last one that we are going to do is another kid-friendly gift basket. And I have another basket from TJ Maxx. I picked up um, multiple of these. I even have some that I'm not using this year that I'll probably save for next year. Um, find things on sales, you guys, and put them away so you don't have to spend a ton of money. Okay, so this is going to be a homeschool or craft gift basket, I guess you would say. So it's for my niece and nephew, and they are homeschooled, and they are just recently homeschooled. So, um, I wanted their gift basket to kind of help with their new way of schooling. So I found some really fun stuff. The first thing is this, I actually bought this for my son as well whenever we were doing virtual and remote, and remote learning. Um, it's really cute magnets with letters and numbers so you can spell words or you can do math. So I thought this would be really cute for them. And this um, is compact, so it's easily stored. Things aren't gonna go everywhere because they all have their own little area. So this will just go in here. I also got these fun highlights and scholastic learning. I am going to get a few more books for them because they had some that they request or that they, that was requested for them for their. Um, curriculum. So I still have stuff I'm going to add to this, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do. These I got at Target. They're just fun learning books. So you can put these in your baskets. Um, this I thought was really fun. Scribble and play. So something when it comes to like schooling and being homeschooled, I love things that Everything is connected. So this, if you look on the back, it's um, the pen and the, how you write. It's all connected to the board itself. Like nothing is going to get lost or tossed or whatever because it's all connected. So I thought this would be really fun to practice writing 
or you know whatever they need and then last thing this is not really for school but it's looks really fun it's the kids scavenger hunt three pack so you have these fun little cards and you go out and you find whatever's on the cards you can do it at home outside in the car so I thought these would be really fun too like I said I do need to add some books to this for them um, I just have to go to this I have to go and find them but um, I thought this would be a really fun thing to show because homeschooling or school items can be fun and can be a great gift and um, just put it into a gift basket <laughs> so let me see if I can rearrange this to make it this isn't that bad but this is kind of big so we'll go up with this we'll toss it to the side and then we'll put these on this side and then like I said you can always stuff tissue paper wherever you need to stuff so that things can be seen and since I'm going to add more books to this one I'm not going to stuff too much in there but you can like toss it to the side like that Here's a last little shot of the ones that we have made. Here's this one from today. They are so fun. I just love them. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's gift basket idea video. I hope that it helped you out a lot. Um, let me know down in the comments if you are making gift baskets this year or if you've ever made a gift basket or if you love getting gift baskets. I know I do. Uh, I love giving them and getting them. So thank you so much for being here. Make sure if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and don't and make sure that your bell notifications are on so you don't miss any more of any of my uploaded videos. And I hope y'all have an amazing weekend.